Okay, good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are off to a great start to your week. Hope everything's going well. Um, yeah, we are just plugging along. We are back into the swing of things with our morning mindfulness, doing our stretches, our breath work, a little bit of meditation. Um, just as a side note for anyone that has missed it or hasn't heard about it yet, we have also added an afternoon class at 1.30. Um, that one's a little bit more focused on strength and endurance. So while it's still all chair-based, um, it's a little bit more active. Our heart rates might uh, creep up a little bit. There might be a little sweat going on and we have some good music playing always. So um, if you guys are enjoying the mindfulness classes in the morning, I, um, I invite you to check out our afternoon class. It's a good little PM pick-me-up and uh, just another way to connect and stay active, stay moving. So um, yeah, as far as mindfulness goes today, we'll go ahead and move into our stretches here shortly. And then um, we will do day two of the body scan. Uh, we tried that out yesterday. We've done it several times in the past. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll keep moving forward with it. Um, our quote for today, it, I don't think this one ever goes out of style. I, I love this 100%. It says, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. And I just think that is, uh, that's a top life lesson in my book. <laughs> you know, and not that it's easy, not that, um, not that we're perfect or that we do it all the time. But, you know, even in the tough situations, even in the tough times, um, kindness, compassion, uh, trying to understand someone else's point of view. Um, and, and it also applies to ourselves, right? Being kind to ourselves, especially in a time when there's a lot of uncertainty, there might be some anxiety, fear, anger, all of the above, um, just being a little softer with ourselves. And then hopefully that leads to being softer and kinder with others. So yeah, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. And uh, yeah, just because it's possible doesn't mean it's easy. So as with anything, it's a practice. Um, continue to be kind to yourself as you work on that practice. And hopefully we can all just spread a little bit more kindness. I think we all could use it these days. So um, all right, guys, so we'll go ahead, we'll get to our starting position, we'll get going with the stretches, and we'll get this Tuesday going. All right, so as always, oh, let me adjust the camera, sorry. Sometimes it shifts slightly, there we go. Okay, I'm going to take a little sip of the tea, have a little green tea pick me up for today. All right, everyone go ahead, come to the starting position. We want our feet flat on the floor, have your knees bent, hips heavy, rounding into the seat beneath you. Feel your spine get a little longer as you sit up nice and tall. Relax your shoulders down the back, and we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close your eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Awesome job, you guys. Go ahead, blink those eyes back open, come on to the space that you're in, and we'll get going with the stretches. So we will start with our legs here, our lower extremities, and we're going to begin simply by pointing and flexing the feet here. Right, so drawing the toes away from the body and then back towards the body, away from the body and back towards the body. Good. Starting to get the blood flowing, get the energy moving. And this is a great opportunity to practice kindness to yourself, right? So 
if you're unable to see physical motion or if it doesn't look exactly like you think it should or you want it to, that's okay. Give yourself a little kindness, a little compassion, and then I invite you to close the eyes and see if you can visualize as the body moves energetically. Good. Keep it going a little more. You guys are doing great. Awesome. All right. Keep those legs nice and long. But go ahead and rest the heels on the floor here as you draw the toes in towards the body. So be flexed, legs long, spine gets a little longer here. Take a nice breath in. And then as you exhale, reach down into the direction of your toes. Good. And maybe your hands end up at the shins or right at your knees. Wherever you're at in your body today is perfect. Just start to notice though, wherever you're at, notice what you feel on the back side of your legs here, the calves, the hamstrings, just allowing the muscles on the back side of the legs to soften, easing into the stretch. Try to let go of any extra tension or holding. And as always, keep the breath moving, smooth and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another breath in here. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back towards seated. Bring your feet flat to the floor. Put a slight bend in the knees again, and let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the inside of our thighs here, our hip adductor muscles. So we'll do that by drawing our knees away from one another, all right? So just taking the legs in opposite directions, either utilizing the strength of your hips, glute, leg muscles, or if you want, you can use um, one hand, a forearm, or both, just to add a little extra pressure here, right? And it's just allowing those legs to open up a little bit more, giving a good stretch in the inner thighs. <sighs> And then as always, coming back to the breath, notice if maybe your shoulders have hiked up, try to release them down. If there's any tension in the jaw, let that go. And just feel, feel into sensation, feel into the stretch. Maybe noticing if there's a lack of sensation. That's okay too. Another opportunity for self-kindness knowing that it doesn't have to look or feel a certain way. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And exhale. Let's come on back to that starting position. Draw your knees back together again. Feet are flat. Spine is tall. And we'll take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Awesome work. All right, coming from our starting position, right? So our legs are heavy, rooting down towards the floor. Sit up nice and tall. We're gonna start to get into the back side of our hips, our glutes here. Take a nice breath in. And we'll start with the right leg, drawing that knee up into the chest, into the torso. Just start to feel into the back side of the right hip. Notice maybe what you feel or what you don't feel. You can stay here in this position, or you have the option of crossing the leg over while you squeeze the knee into the chest. So that's just gonna change the direction that we're pulling the muscle at, and it might offer a different sensation. Noticing what's happening in your body while you continue moving the breath. Nice job, you guys. Slow and steady, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Take another nice deep breath in as you sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, slowly release. Let that leg go. Awesome work, you guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch sides. So once more, sit up really tall. Inhale through the nose. And then we're going to bring the left knee up into the chest here, into the torso. Awesome work. Keep the breath moving here as you start to notice what you feel on the back side of the left hip. 
And of course, you can stay here or you have the option to cross over. Just changing the pull of the muscle, noticing if the sensation's any different. Good. Keep the breath moving, slow and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another breath in here. And exhale, slowly release, let that go. Great work, you guys. All right, let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome work. All right, we are done with the legs, so let's go ahead and move into our trunk, right? Stretching out core muscles, both front and back, and side to side. So we'll start once again from our beginning position. Feet flat, legs heavy, grounding down. Sit up nice and tall, feel the spine get long here as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, gently twisting over to the right here. Good, now you have some options with your hands. You can take them to your leg, maybe the chair. I'm bringing mine to the back of the chair here. And then just ease into the stretch. Feeling length, creating space as you breathe in and gently twisting a little deeper as you breathe out. Maybe bringing the gaze over the right shoulder. Just feeling into the body, feeling into the stretch while you keep the breath moving. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly release, let that go. Great work, you guys. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So once more, sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, and exhale, gently twist over to the left here. Awesome work. Again, taking the hand grip of your choice, wherever it feels comfortable, wherever you can create leverage, sitting up nice and tall, Creating space through the whole length of the spine as you breathe in. And then gently moving into the space created as you breathe out. Good. Maybe the gaze comes over the left shoulder. Breathing smooth and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly release. Come on back towards center. Awesome work, you guys. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome work. All right, keeping the legs exactly where they're at, we're now going to go ahead and get into our low back, right? So our lumbar spine. Keeping those legs exactly where they're at, just begin to round forward. Maybe bringing your hands down towards your feet or all the way towards the floor. If it feels okay in the spine, just releasing everything over here. Maybe even letting the weight of the head come down towards the floor. But if there's any compression or restriction or discomfort, just back off a little bit. You can also always bring your hands or your arms to your knees, so just a gentle bend forward. That should still get into the low back muscles here. And just allowing everything to soften, watching as all the muscles in the spine gently stretch open. Nice job, you guys. Continue moving the breath, slow and steady. Awesome work. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 slowly roll back on up. Awesome. Give yourself a minute here. Let everything settle. Allow the blood pressure to stabilize. Bring your spine back in line. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Awesome job, you guys. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get into 
front of our body. So again, as always, a couple options here. Come to your starting position, feet flat, hips heavy. Let your spine get a little longer as you sit up nice and tall. And then we can start by squeezing the shoulder blades together. Right, so maybe drawing your elbow points towards one another on the back side of your body. Good. And then, of course, with your chair, you have a couple different options. If it's a lower chair back, you can take your whole spine up and over. Mine's a little higher, so I'm just going to push my shoulders right into it. And then I want to pull my heart and my belly forward. So I'm stretching the front of my body. I have a nice arcing going on in the back of my body. And then I have the option as well to open my arms to either side, further opening and broadening. Good, and you want to make sure your chin is just gently lifted. Try not to crank it back too far. You don't want to restrict any blood flow or any airflow. Good, and then continue breathing here. Expanding through the muscles and the abdomen and the pecs, all the tissues around the throat as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, watching everything soften and release. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving smooth and steady. Good. Take another inhale here. And exhale slowly, slowly. Come on back up towards seated. Awesome work, you guys. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Great work. All right, so we're done with the trunk. Let's go ahead and move into our upper extremities. So our arms, from our shoulders to our elbows, down to our hands here. And um, we want to come to the starting position, right? We want to make sure we're rooted and grounded through the lower half of our body. Now we're going to start with flexion, uh, flexion of the shoulder. So just drawing this arm up and over, maybe in the direction of the ceiling. Gently opening up the arm here and the shoulder girdle. Uh, you have a couple options with your hand positions. So of course you can take fingers in between one another. If you're able to get each finger in between the other, I do recommend that. That's gonna allow a little bit more range, mobility, opening through the whole hand. A um, Couple other variations here. You can take cupped grip. So just clasping your hands over one another. You can always utilize the strength of one arm to support the other and help lift your arms up overhead. And then of course, you can always just raise one arm. So whatever is best in your body today, honor that, be kind to yourself, be kind to your body, and make sure you keep breathing. So again, we'll come to our starting position, take the hand grip of your choice, and as you breathe in, gently begin to lift those arms up and away from Good, and again, keep breathing here, smooth and steady. If your arms are overhead, make sure your shoulders aren't hiking too high. Make sure there's no tension or pain. You want to keep the shoulders relaxed while you gently lift those arms up and over. If you're not quite over the head, that's okay. Maybe you're at shoulder height or right around the torso. Wherever you're at, just continue breathing, noticing the sensations that come up for you. And continuing to gently stretch into that. There shouldn't be any pain, no discomfort. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Smooth and steady with the breath. Awesome work. On your next breath in, if it feels okay, maybe bring your hands a little higher. Deepening the stretch, if that honors your body. Or maybe with the breath, you're backing off a little bit, noticing where you're pushing a little too hard and you actually need to be gentler to your physical body. Good. Take another inhale here. And exhale, slowly, slowly release. Bring those arms back down. Awesome work, you guys. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Great work. 
All right, we are going to move into scapular glides. So working with our shoulder blades, I'm going to turn to the left here so that you guys can see what it looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you have a table or a flat surface, I recommend using it. Um, that'll just give your hands a little bit more support. And what we're doing here is gliding our hands and our arms along the table, gently pulling at the shoulder girdle so that your shoulder blades move up and away from one another. All right, so they're kind of wrapping around the rib cage. Now, if you need to feel the difference, go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blades together and then gently pull the shoulder blades away from one another as you continue to move those arms a little further away from your torso. Nice job, you guys. Continue moving the breath here. Gently drawing those shoulder blades away from one another. Always you can have the take the option of squeezing them together just to feel the difference. And then once again, pulling them away from each other. Good. Continue moving the breath here, slow and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another breath in here. And then exhale, slowly release. Come on back down. Awesome work, you guys. You're doing great out there. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome. All right, let's get into the back side of our shoulders here. So again, coming from the starting position, legs, feet, hips, everything below the waist is heavy, stable, grounding towards the floor. Let your spine get a little longer as you sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. And we'll start with the right arm. So reaching it up and across the body here. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is option number one. Just reaching the hand away from your body. <clears throat> option number two, you can grab a hold of your opposite shoulder. Give it a gentle tug. Notice what you feel on the back side of that right arm. And then option number three, if available, using your free hand to gently draw that arm across the body. Good. Just giving it a nice, easy squeeze here. And then regardless of the position that you're in, continuing to breathe. All right, smooth and steady here. Doing great. Keep the breath moving. Back off if there's any pain or forcing. And just try to use the breath to let go. <clears throat> awesome job, you guys. Take another deep breath in here. And exhale, slowly release. Let it go. Awesome work. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. And we'll bring the left arm up across the body here. So option number one, just reaching that hand away from you, crossing midline. Option number two, grab a hold of the other shoulder. Give it a gentle tug. Notice what you feel on the side of the left arm here. And then option number three, using your right hand to assist in a gentle squeeze of the arm across the body. Good. And then again, continuing to breathe here, letting go of any tension, releasing any forcing or anything that's holding you back. Nice work, you guys. Keep the breath moving, slow and steady. Awesome job. Take another soft breath in here and slowly release. Let it go. Great work, you guys. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Let it go. Great work. Let's go ahead and do some shoulder rolls. Always my favorite part. Just releasing any extra tension that's maybe still lingering in the shoulders. Maybe even on the shoulder blades, up through the neck. Just feeling into your body, noticing what feels good here for you. Nice work, you guys. All right, let's go ahead, come on back towards center, and we will finish off with some neck stretches. So 
Once again, return to that starting position. Feet are flat, hips are heavy. Sit up nice and tall, feel yourself get a little longer through the top of the head. As you release your shoulders down, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently release the right ear over to the right shoulder. Good, keep the breath moving slow and steady as you just begin to ease into this posture. If it feels okay, you can close your eyes, bringing all your attention to the left side of the neck, watching as the muscles begin to soften and stretch open as the weight of the head pours over towards the shoulder. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving here, slow and steady. Awesome work. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you're ready, slowly come back towards midline. Awesome work, you guys. Bring that spine back in line, and we'll go ahead and switch sides. So once more, sit up nice and tall as you take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently drop the left ear over to the left shoulder this time. Once again, closing the eyes if that feels okay. Letting the weight of the head pour over towards the left as you breathe into the right side of the Watching and feeling as the tissues soften, gently drawing away from one another. Breathing into the stretch, letting everything go little by little. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, take a deep breath in. And slowly begin to drop the chin down towards the chest here. Good. Just starting to make small circles with the head and the neck. Gently rotating around the center of the body. Observing as the stretch moves through all corners. Directions as you're ready. Moving a little slower than you think you should. Just really giving yourself time in the space to feel into your body, feel into sensation. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, when you're ready, slowly bring your head back in line with the spine here. Coming back to our starting position, allow your shoulders to relax. Make sure your legs and feet and hips are heavy. Feel your spine get a little longer as you sit up nice and tall. And we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you once more to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, softly blink the eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And that ends our stretches for today. So thank you guys so much for joining for that portion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get us set up for mindfulness. So if you hold tight, I'll be with you in a second. All right, you guys. Ah, 
how's everyone doing out there? Hope you're doing well. Um, another reminder that none of the comments are loading. So for any of you that are commenting on the videos throughout, thank you so, so much. Um, I can see them after I post the video, um, but they're not loading during like they used to. So um, I still know you're out there. I can see a couple of you are watching, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining and connecting. Um, and I will always get to your comments afterwards. I just can't see them in the middle of it, but that's okay. That will allow us to actually focus on the mindfulness part, right? So let me go ahead and get set up here real quick. Take a sip of the tea. Got a bit of a frog in the throat this morning, but that's okay. All right. Let's get this going here. Yeah, for those of you that are in Denver, you know that Denver and unfortunately the state of Colorado has some unfortunate air quality right now because of the forest fires. So um, if we can, let's send a little bit of uh, thoughts, prayers, positive vibes, however you send out your energy. Um, let's send it to those that are being affected right now, um, to the firefighters that are showing up and all of the um, state enforcement that's helping out with that. So. And for the rest of you, try and continue to breathe healthy air. This uh, breath work inside um, is definitely a benefit to our body and our immune systems. Um, but just be cautious of that when you guys are outside. So, all right, we are going to move forward um, again with the body scan. We did it yesterday and we'll do it again today. So um, just a reminder, I read to everyone a little bit about what mindfulness is, and I'll go ahead and repeat the definition for you today, um, if you missed it or if you just need a reminder. So it says, mindfulness is the capacity to pay relaxed, open-hearted, non-judgmental attention to what is happening right now in the present moment, right? And that's what we're trying to do with the body scan. Um, there's a lot of different ways to practice mindfulness. So last week we were doing breath work, focusing on the breath. Um, there's mindful eating, mindful walking. Um, there's all sorts of mindfulness activities. This one specifically is focusing on your physical body and the physical and maybe even energetic sensations that you're feeling in any given moment, right? And specifically this moment right now in the present and it can be tough right i mean our brains are they're wonderfully complex right they're they're meant to think and process and sometimes they don't work as well as we want them to so then it makes it even tougher and then they go into overdrive again and they're just very complicated um we need our brains we need to think but it's easy to get caught up in that thinking it's easy to get caught up in the stories that our brain is telling us. And, you know, uh, plenty of times they're, they're very relevant. It's very important. We need to focus on it. But when your thinking starts to take over, when it starts to control how you show up to each day, um, that's when we want to try and give it a rest, right? And sometimes our thinking takes us to the past and we're worrying about something that already happened or trying to change it in our mind. Um, or we're preoccupied with the future, right? Wondering about what's going to happen or hoping so deeply. And, um, you know, it, it could be something positive and there's nothing wrong with that. But we just don't want to let those thoughts and those stories control us all the time. So this, uh, this mindfulness practice, and specifically the body scan, just allows us to tune in to what's happening right now without trying to change it, without trying to worry about it, without trying to predict what's actually going to happen, and just noticing. So um, if you haven't done this before, no worries at all. I will lead you guys through this. Um, if you have done it before, welcome back. And I have the same advice for everybody is to just allow yourself to show up without any expectation, right? It, it doesn't need to look a certain way. It doesn't need to feel a certain way. Um, no need to change or judge what's going on. 
We're simply trying to show up and give ourselves the time, the space, and the opportunity to be aware. Um, and it, it, it sounds simple when I say it out loud, but it's, it's a practice and it can be really challenging. So um, going back to the quote today, right? Be kind whenever possible, and that includes yourself. So be gentle with yourself with this practice. Um, it's not meant to show that you can or can't do something. It just is. So, um, yeah, I will guide you through this. Um, we'll start at the feet, we'll end up at the head, and then we'll try and do a full body observation as well. Um, and the only thing that I ask that you do is be here, right? Be present. Try to start to relax. Um, maybe you're seated in the chair that we were in for stretches. Maybe you're lying down if that's safe and comfortable. Wherever you're at, just start to soften. Maybe take a couple of deep breaths here in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, a couple more just like that. And again, I will lead you both in and out of this. We will hear a beginning bell that indicates our time has started. I will guide you through the entirety of the scan, and then I will lead you out of it as well. Good. Once again, a couple more breaths here. If you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Allow your attention, your focus, all to turn inward. See if you can begin to soften, soften up the eyes jaw, shoulders, and arms, hips, and legs, all the way down to your toes. With your eyes closed, see if you can see yourself. Observing you as you are in this moment the top of your head, all the way down to the soles of your feet and out the toes. Notice your entire being, physical and energetic, as it is in this moment. Allowing yourself to release any external thoughts or outside distractions. And focus here. Continuing to move the breath softly in and softly out. As you're ready, drawing your attention, drawing your focus all the way down into your feet. Feeling into your toes, soles of your feet, wrapping around the heels, coming up around the ankles, and washing over the top of your feet. How do they feel? What do you notice? Feel the touch of the floor beneath, maybe the fabric of your socks and shoes. If you're barefoot, do you feel the temperature resting on your skin? 
no right or wrong. No one way it's supposed to be. Just notice. How do your feet feel from the inside out and outside in in this very moment? Take a soft breath in and then a soft breath out. As you're ready, draw your awareness up out of your feet, coming into the lower half of your legs, the shins, the calves, and everything in between. Feeling sensation from your ankles all the way up to your knees, and wrapping around the entire circumference of the bottom half of your legs. What do you feel? What do you sense? Maybe there's a lack of sensation. Or maybe there's a difference from left to right. That's okay. No need to judge or label or try to fix. Just allow yourself to acknowledge your sensations as they are. And take a soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. Continuing to move up the legs, crossing over the knees and coming in to the thighs into the quadriceps on the front and the hamstrings on the back. Feeling all the muscles and the tissues as they wrap around your femur bone. Maybe you feel the sensation of the pants on your leg. Or maybe you feel internal sensations, the veins and arteries and nerves. you feel from left to right, front to back, inside to out? Just notice. Observe without judgment. Take a soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. When you're ready, move your awareness up out of your thighs, coming into your hips and your pelvis, feeling from your glutes and the pelvic floor up to your front, reaching around your hip points and your belly button, feeling into the hip sockets, noticing the joints and everything in between. Feel the bones of your pelvic bowl as they rest on the chair. And you feel the pressure of the chair as it pushes up into your sits bones. Maybe your waistband is snug around the hips. What do you feel? And what do you sense? No right or wrong, no need to change or adjust, just notice. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. As you're ready, moving your awareness up out of the pelvic bowl and coming into the lower half of your trunk. Feeling into your low back, down to your tailbone, wrapping around, feeling just under the ribs, from the 
belt, belly button up to your rib cage. Maybe you can feel your belly filling up with air, jutting out slightly as you breathe in. And then watching as the sensation leaves, breath exiting the body and the belly sinking back down. Maybe there's a rumbling in the stomach, feeling the internal organs, noticing everything from the middle of your spine, awareness exuding out, wrapping around. Feeling the touch of your pants and your shirt on the skin. What do you sense? What do you feel? <clears throat> Take a soft breath in and then a soft breath out. Slowly moving up the trunk, out of the lower half, and coming into the chest. Find the front of the body at the sternum and the collarbone, rib cage expanding forward and sideways and back. Find your scapula on the back of your rib cage as your shoulder blades squeeze together. Find the length of your thoracic spine from the base of your neck just below your rib cage. Feel the beating of your heart from within the chest. And noticing as the rib cage broadens outward with every inhale and softens and relaxes with every exhale. you feel? What do you sense? Take a soft breath in and then a soft breath out. As you're ready, drawing your awareness up out of your trunk and coming into the arms. Feeling right at the shoulder girdles. Feeling into the upper half of your arms, the biceps, the triceps, all the way down to the elbow. Do you feel the touch of your shirt on the skin? Maybe you feel the weight of the arm as it hangs from your shoulder girdle. Maybe there's sensation on one side, but not the other. It's okay. No need to adjust. No need to try to fix. Just notice. Take a soft breath in. And then a soft breath out. Continuing to move down the length of the arm, crossing over the elbow joint, wrapping your awareness into the forearms. Find your radius and your ulna, and the muscles that wrap around all the way down to the wrist. In the front and back of the forearm, noticing what sensations arise. Maybe you feel the temperature of the air around you. Or maybe you feel internal sensations from within. Just simply see what shows up. Take a soft breath in. Then a soft breath out. As you're ready, pull that awareness out of your forearms, coming into your hands and your fingers. 
from the palm to the back of your hand, wrapping around all 10 digits. Feeling your fingernails and your finger pads. Everything from the tips to your wrists. Noticing from left to right, front to back, inside to out. What do you sense? Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. As you're ready, drawing your awareness back up out of your arms, coming in towards midline, right at the neck. Feeling the top of your shoulders all the way through the cervical spine up to the base of your head. Feeling the front of the throat and the back of the neck. Feeling your trap muscles and your scalenes down the sides. Feel from the inside out. Maybe the sensation of breath, saliva, swallowing, wrapping around the entire circumference of the neck here. Noticing what do you feel? Perhaps you can feel the weight of the head as it rests on the neck. Seeing the strength of the muscles from within. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. And as you're ready, moving up out of your neck and into the entirety of your head. Feeling the skull, feeling the bones, feeling the tissues, your face muscles. In the hair and your skull, wrapping your awareness from just behind the occiput at the base of the skull, up and over the ears, washing over your facial muscles up to the forehead, feeling all through your hairline, and coming up to the very top of your head. What do you notice? What do you feel? You sense the neural activity of your brain as it sits within your skull. While at the same time noticing the touch of the air on your skin, any external sensations. Simply feeling into your skull, into your face, wrapping awareness around the entirety of your head. Take a soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. Take another soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. If you wish, as you're ready, drawing your awareness once more through the entire length of your body, all the way from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, letting yourself feel into the skull, wrapping around the neck and the shoulders, down the arms, out your fingers, feeling into the chest and the belly and the length of the spine. Sensing your hips and your thighs, crossing over the knees, down the legs, into your feet, and out your toes. Once more, sensing your entire being. Many parts, but all connected. Physical and energetic. Breathing into your entire body from head to toe, taking a soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. Take another 
a soft breath in and a soft breath out. When you're ready, just allowing any focus or attention to be released. to your breath, just feeling into this moment, feeling into the space that you're in. If you wish to stay here, breathing, sensing into your body, by all means, please do so. And otherwise, as you're ready, when you're ready, softly, blink the eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And maybe just for a breath or two, continuing to feel. Feel into your body now with your eyes open. Noticing if there's a difference. Your external vision reignited. See if you can still tune into the sensations of your body. Tune into right now. Tune into this moment. Take a couple soft more breaths. Take a couple more soft breaths here. Just feeling and then breathing. Sensing something in. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for joining, showing up for yourselves, showing up to connect with one another, connect with me and Easter Seals. We appreciate it more than you guys know. And we hope you continue to be kind to yourselves, be kind to others. Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. As a reminder, we'll be back here again today at 1.30 for a little bit more of an active class, focusing on strength, endurance, maybe building up a little bit of a sweat. Hopefully we see you then. If not, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock back again for our mindfulness. And either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again so much for being a part of this. Hope you have a good one. Continue to take care of yourselves and take care of each other.